Renoise has a really cool feature called Auto Seek, and it solves a very common problem. So here I've got a long sample. In this case, it is a drum loop, and I'm letting it just play out. And this is what it sounds like when triggered from the note trigger. But what if I want to trigger it from somewhere that the note trigger is not? Like, say I want to start playback right here. What would that be like? Well, you don't get anything. No drum loop. And then when we hit the trigger, we get our drum loop back. So is there a way for Renoise to correctly play the drum loop back even if the note trigger isn't in the area, if the note trigger was from before? The answer is yes. So if we go ahead and go over to the sampler here and we come down here to playback, there is this thing called auto seek. So if you turn on auto seek, what it's going to do is it's going to correctly deduce where the playhead should be and then play it from there. So now if I play it, with no, there's no trigger, so before we got nothing. Now, we get the track back. We get we get the drum loop back. So that's with the trigger, we pause it, and normally we wouldn't get anything, but now. So very useful for drums and things. Now, I had a couple questions upon learning this that you may have. For example, what if I have effect commands beforehand? Uh, if I have effect commands, like let's say I have a, a U, uh, let's put it here a pitch up command of of two and a pitch up command of two and you know if i play it back it's going to pitch up every time it hits one of these and let's say okay well if i start playback down here is it going to correctly pitch up by the correct amount will it will it account for these the answer is yes and if you put in a, a down for example let's say we pitch it down f so now we're going to have a, a lower pitch so the point is, it's freaking awesome and it works with the effect commands. Another thing you might be wondering is, what if I have it on a separate pattern? Uh, what happens in that case? Well, as soon as it reaches the end, right, it's going to just stop depending on how you have your loop settings set up. Um, if there was any sort of note event prior, it will trigger correctly. So for this, let's just go to a, a, new, uh, a new song just because it'll be a bit easier to do from scratch. We'll go to the samples and we'll come out here to the drum grooves and we'll lay a note down. And so this is what we have. So we're gonna go into the sampler. We're gonna go ahead and just beat sync this for us. And it's pretty long. I'm not gonna worry about any sort of weird artifact things. But if we play it from the bottom, well right now we have nothing, right? Because we have to come in here and turn on auto seek. If we play it from the bottom, how far away are we? Uh, is that the end of the sample? Do we get all the way? I don't believe we get all the way. Looks pretty long. Yeah, so this is gonna span more than one pattern. So if we actually add another pattern, and before, since we had no auto seek, this pattern would just not trigger anything. So if we if we had this auto seek off, it wouldn't trigger anything because there's no note trigger to turn it on. So just be silent. But if we come in and we turn on the auto seek, it knows it looks for like the if there were any note commands beforehand and would that have stopped would they stop the playback so it looks it sees this note command up here and it says oh there's a note command and we see that the sample hasn't finished and there's nothing to say to keep going so it's going to keep playing and we'll actually get it on the second pattern so it does work across patterns so it pretty much solves the issue of when you press playback at specific spots will your stuff start up and will it sound like it's supposed to instead of having to go back to the initial uh, note trigger and you know you'd have to start playback from here and wait until you got there which can make previewing just really slow and workflow a bit tedious but this is you know a super great feature it's one i definitely wish i had known about way sooner so now you know about it if you have any questions about this feel free to let me know subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day